How's it going guys? I am Connor from Running Warehouse. Today I'm here with Alec. He's a performance engineer here at Saucony and we are diving in deep on their latest foam compound, Power Run PB. Now, every company has their light and responsive foam compound that's coming to the market. What is gonna separate Power Run PB from the competition? All right, well, first of all, PB stands for PIBA, so it's polyether block amide. Now, we're no strangers to using that. We've used PBACs from Arkema in our sprint uh, spike plates for a long time. And our new compound that's even made from castor bean, oils, castor bean oil. So that's kind of a, uh, a cool compound that we've been familiar with. So it's a great engineering plastic for a bunch of reasons. First of all, it's really responsive. It really snaps back. It's also sort of lower in density. So there's a lot of exciting things about it. So um, the, the challenge was how do you make this great engineering polymer into a, a foam material? So that's we spent a lot of time figuring out ways to do it. We've been working on this for several years now to kind of find the right way where you could get, you could maintain that really high bounciness of the PIBA as well as kind of keeping it durable, making sure it lasted a long time. And now this is something that I want to show. This is like standard EVA. And we, in addition to impact testing the shoes, we impact test discs of foam like this. And this is standard EVA. So if I bounce this, you know, it, it does bounce. But if I bounce this, it's, it's far different. So this is exciting in and of itself. And we use these machines to quantify how much bouncier that is. And so we can kind of get a sense that that's gonna be better for the runner. It's gonna return that energy. And you're gonna feel it. That's one of the great things about this shoe. You really feel like it's pushing you forward. And so that's been one of the, the really exciting things about it as we go forward. So it's just, there were a lot of challenges where, you know, figuring out something that, uh, we're, we're basically, this is now at an eighth the density that it was when we put it into our spike plates. It's kind of like a sculpture. You need to figure out where to take the, the, the stuff out to, you know, to make it work the way you want it to. So we've gotten this down to a density of 0.12, which is compared to the starting density, which is a little under one. It's quite a challenge to get that so it still maintains its durability and its bounciness over the course of the run. One of the things that I like about our particular version of, of, of this phone, the Power Run PB, is it's more durable than other PIBA-based foams that are out there on the market, which means that it will last longer instead of just maybe a single race. You can actually train in the shoe and you can put some good miles on it and it's gonna hold up over time and maintain the great properties that it has. Yeah, so when we talk about lower densities, obviously that's gonna help keep weight down, but is that also gonna create a softer experience for the runner? It, it is, but you have to kind of you have to kind of optimize that. You wanna kind of tailor that to the properties of the runner. And now we add a plate into the whole mix and so that, you know, it, it, it actually makes it sort of a, a fun engineering challenge. How do you balance all those things, these stacked, springs, if you will, that, you know, to try to kind of tune them to the, prop, the, the properties that the runner wants to feel. So you've been developing this Power Run PB for several years now, gone through several iterations. Some of your earlier versions are different than what you have today. Now you've got that beaded Power Run PB. How is that gonna play a role in performance? The, one of the benefits is that we actually developed a technology called Everrun, which is now Power Run Plus. So we learned about bead foams and we've developed some kind of uh, proprietary ways to kind of mold those, those bead foams into stuff that really works well for the runners. Really high energy efficiency so it feels bouncy, really high durability, uh, and it just, it just kind of feels good. So we already had a starting point. It wasn't where we didn't start off trying to make the, the uh, Power Run PB as a bead foam. It's just where we ended up because we were able to figure out from what we learned about our Ever Run Power Run Plus and make it into Power Run PB. So we already had kind of a leg up. So we got Ever Run, we've got Power Run PB. What's gonna be the future uh, for Saucony? I gotta tell you, I'm really excited because I, like I told you, I get very excited about new ways to get performance into the shoes. So I think that we're gonna keep looking for new polymers that we can get durable, bouncy uh, performance from. I think that uh, we're also going to be looking into some sustainable performance, sustainable materials, and right now sustainability is going to be a big push for us. But it means a lot of things. So we're going to be defining that how we can get the same performance you'd expect from a Saucony shoe uh, with some more sustainable materials. There, there'll be some some new molding techniques that we're going to come up, some some different ways to kind of make the midsole so that you can kind of get the kind of feeling that you want, the kind of sensation you want rolling forward that, that we think runners want. And it, we, it'll, it'll apply to you know, neutral runners, stability runners, uh, all sorts of different runners. We're also working on compounds to kind of give you more ground feel as well, like uh, issues like our Convara, where we're trying to get uh, that, that ground feel, but also kind of get sort of that bouncy sensation of the high energy efficiency of our material. 
And finally, we're looking at a bunch of different outsole compounds. I think we're working on some trail compounds, for example, that have a surprisingly high amount of grip in wet conditions. So I think we can push our trail running category even farther with some of the engineering principles we're, uh, we're using here. Yeah, so looks like a lot of great things to come in the future. But for now, we've got the new Power Run PB. It's going to be available in the Endorphin Speed, the Endorphin Pro. If you're looking to get a pair of your own, it's going to be available very shortly at runningwarehouse.com.